The home pod has been updated. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to Grego Sailing. Here in this video I get into basically just washing the boat up, trying to get the paint looking good again. And then I do a lot of sanding with the tail rail you see there and any parts of the teak that are here on the port side. And yeah, that's what I'm going to get into here in this video. So hope you enjoy. Now I'm working on the deck. What I've got here, what I want to do is get it cleaned up looks like crap so I've got the Meguiar's oxidation remover I bought it as a kit so we're gonna try it out it's like three different types I'll bring the other ones out later but anyway we're gonna start with the oxidation remover right here on the back since everyone coming in I want it to not look so crappy for everybody else also turns out there was no clear coat or paint or anything left to for the buffer to oxidize and bring back so yeah, this is pretty much a fail. I pretty much tried there and knew it was when it started soaking in yellow from the oxidation remover that it wasn't going to do anything. So I pretty much gave up at this point, started washing the boat, and then got on with the sanding because this wasn't going to work. Okay, so now I've gone through it with the orbital sander. I've been using the 40 grit or 60 grit. On here I've got an 80 grit and I'm just doing it by hand basically to get the shape back because this can make it wobbly. So here's what I do. Gets tired and breathing in that dust. Also these we can get right here, anything that's teak, gotta get it sanded down. Luckily I don't care about the paint because it's going to get sanded anyway, so I'm going to do that if I want. See that? Big old sucker. So that's it for this episode. Uh, when I go back to the lake next time in a couple weeks, I'll be applying some teak guard, which I bought through eBay. I did some research on both the teak guard and the CTAL. Um, from what I discovered, just from reading a lot of reviews on the forums, I just chose the teak guard over the CTAL just for quite a few different reasons. But they both had their good pros and cons. But overall, it seemed like a little easier to apply the 
teak guard versus the sea tall and a lot of other things but you can do the research for yourself I'm gonna try it out and obviously I'll make videos about it how it came out so we'll see what happens with that up next I got some scenes for my upcoming video which I'm working on now it'll be about solar panels for the bow and also for the house 12 volt 24 volt system so the scenes you'll be seeing are some clips from that coming up next. Working on solar panels right here behind me. I've already got one mounted. I mounted it yesterday. So we've got 7.9 amps coming in, 105 watts, and it's working. Uh, what I've got here is a 24 volt system. It runs off four children batteries at the moment, which is equals one bank of 24 volts. Then I've got, oh, this is what it looks like from the outside. And inside is my generator. So there's what we got inside. Light's not the best, but what I've got here is a, this is what you can get over at the Costco. That's where I've been buying my last couple of generators. All right, well that's it for this episode. Here you're actually watching some scenes. I flew my drone over my house here. So yeah, this is some quick video of my land where I live out here in the East Mountains. I'm about 30 minutes east of Albuquerque. Yeah, this is what it looks like out in the woods. I bought this land two years ago as vacant property and I built everything you see there. And as always, thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and you can also find me on Facebook under Grey Ghost Sailing. And yeah, I'll be back soon with some more videos. Thanks, bye. So check, check one, check two, check, check, one, check.